In the shadow of Fukushima Daiichi's Unit 4, clad in tungsten reinforced gear to shield their bodies from radiation levels 1,000 times normal, workers are taking on a massive drilling project. They're rushing to install hundreds of freezing pipes 100 feet deep. It's the same idea behind ice skating rinks. If all goes as planned, when the switch is flipped next year, an ice wall, a one mile long barrier of frozen soil, will seal in the four damaged reactors and block leaks of contaminated radioactive water. This is not a new technology. Ice walls have been used in public works projects all over the world. The challenge here is to do it in a high radiation, dangerous, risky area. And that's why it's taking up to twice as long to build this structure. And time is of the essence. The site is already packed with storage tanks, holding enough tainted water to fill 180 Olympic-sized pools. The steel tanks are vulnerable to future quakes and tsunamis. And with rainwater and groundwater continually flowing into the reactors, another 100,000 gallons of water is contaminated every single day. A threat to the ocean and to the workers dismantling the nuclear plant. Plant chief Akira Ono admits the ice wall alone won't fix the contaminated water problem, but calls it a major weapon in their arsenal. Critics question whether the $300 million ice wall will actually work, but officials here say a test wall did, and they guarantee the cryogenic barrier can handle power failures and earthquakes. And it will have to be durable to last, as promised, until all the radioactive water is cleared. That could take six years. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Fukushima, Japan.